Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be continuing our journey through the history of color. Now that we've moved through the primary colors, it's time to tackle the secondary ones. Kicking things off will be the color green. Along the symbol of abundance, green is a color with many layers and a rich history. So to learn more, keep on watching. Green is a combination of two primary colors, blue and yellow. Fascinatingly, in some languages, the word for blue and green is the same. Because of its prevalence in nature, green was one of the earliest colors that humans tried to recreate for their own use, but it was more difficult than red or yellow. In ancient Egypt, green was the color for rebirth and regeneration. This is because of the papyrus that would grow every year after the Nile flooded and created richly fertilized fields. To express their thankfulness for this process, ancient Egyptians would grind malachite, a copper mineral, to create pigment. It was used liberally in tomb decoration, but did eventually fall out of use because it oxidized black over time. Ancient Romans also used copper to create green pigment. They would soak copper plates in wine to create verdigris, a pigment that is the color of patina of old metal, a light cool green. Verdigris was used in many different forms of art, including painting and mosaics. The tradition continued into the medieval period where monks would use this pigment to paint scenes and illuminate the manuscripts. During the Renaissance, plants began to be used to make pigment, but they didn't last in long in art and faded easily. Green was most often worn by members of the developing middle class, bankers, landed gentry, merchants, etc. This is because the most common color, red, was reserved for nobles and royalty, and the lower classes simply couldn't afford expensive clothing dye. In 1775, Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Schlegel invented a new way to create green pigment. It was made with arsenite, a chemical compound of arsenic. However, this made it as deadly as it was vibrant. This pigment was used in many things from art to curtains to clothing and even children's toys. This pigment sickened people for decades. In fact, it's even been put forth as the cause of Napoleon's death because the wallpaper in his room in exile contained Schlegel's green. At the end of the 19th century, a similar pigment called Paris green was created. It was just as pretty and just as toxic. Due to its vibrancy, this color was especially popular with the Impressionist artist, hence the name Paris. This is most likely because the movement was inspired by painting outside in plein air. Sadly, because of its toxicity, it has been theorized that this led to Monet's blindness and illnesses in other Impressionist artists. It was eventually discontinued in the 1960s. Today, there are three main green pigments, green 7, green 36, and green 50. The first two utilize chlorine in color, making it poisonous in, if ingested. This just goes to show that green is dangerous color. In fact, probably the most dangerous. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, green symbolizes many things. Firstly, and unsurprisingly, green has come to be associated with abundant life. This is because it's the color of the grass, the trees, and plants. It brings a sense of peace and fresh air. Another concept that green has come to symbolize is money. In America, green is the color of currency represents success and material culture. Spinning off this idea is the fact that green can be used to represent jealousy and envy. The idea is often attributed to Shakespeare in his play Othello, where he used the phrase, quote, green-eyed monster. Finally, I think it's interesting to note that green is an incredibly important color in Islam. This is because it was used by Muhammad as the color of his robe and banner. Today, many Islamic countries use green in their flags. For example, the image on the right is the flag of Saudi Arabia, pictured as if it was hanging up. The text reads, There is no God but Allah, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Green, the color of nature, has a fascinating history in society. And who knew it was so deadly? Make sure to check out the description box below for even more history of color videos.